Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're working on an 09 XLR Cadillac, a unique supercharged V8 two-seat convertible that rolled out of the Corvette division from GM. It's on a Corvette platform. Anyways, the reason I recorded video is this is moderate clear coat, and I haven't covered moderate clear coat much, and it's also tinted. That means the clear coat has been pigmented with roughly the same color as the base coat. So the first thing we want to do, as you saw, the, the clear is in rough shape. There are many layers of imperfections to remove, but we want to clear off some old sealants and waxes. And it has a lot on because it goes through a car wash and it has that hot shine treatment and it just dumps loads of wax on the car. We want to remove that so it doesn't get stuck in, the, in our pads and clog up our microfiber or foam or wool pads. So I'm going to use the Tax Systems uh, Paintwork Cleaner. Now what that is, you could fit that into a cleaner polish category because it is a paint cleanser, but it has very fine abrasives to help break that crap loose. So what I use is I just grab a microfiber applicator here and I put a little bit in and I massage it into the area and that works up and, and breaks up and brings up that old wax or the old sealant. And a lot of you guys, uh, it's a common question, uh, how, what can I use to remove old waxes or old sealants? Well, right here is your answer. This stuff works absolutely fantastic. You know, you rub your hand along the surface of some of these cars and it's slick and you know that there's a sealant or a wax. And when, after you use this, it is, you can just tell by the feel of the clear coat that is now naked and you can continue on with what you want to do, the correction here. All right, so let's talk about our, our goal here, the plan. I'm going to do some spot correcting first with 2000 grit on a block. Uh, some of these scratches are deep and almost through the clear coat. And I had a long talk with the customer that once it restored the clear coat and the finish restored uh, as much as possible, it's going to be garaged. It's not going to be driven much. It is a, uh, a collector's item. So he told me to go as far as I feel or I deem necessary to go to remove as many imperfections as possible. So I'm going to walk that fine line because this clear cut is tinted and I do want to get it looking fantastic and remove as much as I can, but I know I'm not going to remove 100% of these imperfections because that would mean shaving the tinted clear way too far. So I've already going over the car I know you know once you have a little bit of experience under your belt you'll walk up to a car with one trip around and you have your game plan and you just head to it you know you, you really don't even have to think about it you could put it in autopilot so I'm going to correct some of these really bad areas some of the scratches I'm going to have to improve because they're too far into the clear some of them I can remove completely and that's what we're doing here what I'm I grabbed the 3000 grit uh, Trizac disc for this little area I pointed out. It has a lot of staining and etching just in this little area for some reason. It's tree fallout. And the 3000 grit will take care of that. Then I'll go over the areas where I hit it with the 2000 grit and blend that in. When you're wet sanding, you'll see I feed a lot of water into the area, and that flushes. If you're using a sheet, it flushes the sheet. If you're using a Trizac disc, it'll flush that disc and keep it clean. As the clear is removed, you don't want it to clump up and uh, stay in between the pad and the surface of the car. That will cause marring, and it would actually cause you more work than what you're trying to accomplish. So keep spritzing water with the other hand if you can. Uh, a lot of machines, sanders, wet sanding machines, will keep, have a constant feed of water for that exact purpose. Okay, time for the correction and for the cutting portion of the correction. A uh, little bit of a different combo than what we use on hard clear coat. We're using the 3D AAT, Adaptive Abrasive Technology. And we're also using a Lake Country hybrid pad. That's a wool pad. The base of the pad is foam. So it, this is a fantastic cutting pad um, and a fantastic combination for moderate clear coat with these types of defects. So we'll load that pad up. Season the pad, spread out the uh, compound, and we're going to get to work. All 
The wet sanding took care of the heavy duty portion of the correction, taking care of the deep imperfections. What we're doing now is removing what's left, some of the uh, damage underneath, like the swirl marks and the minor etching. And then we're also removing the sand marks from the wet sanding uh, all in one step here. What we have driving the Lake Country Hybrid Blue Wool Pad is just a little M550 from Max Shine. It's a rotary. We have that set at the third speed setting. I don't have a ton of pressure on there. I'm just guiding it back and forth. That'll do it, crisscross pattern, that's equal to two passes. And you saw the huge area I was working on, that's half of the trunk. Well, I mean, with the products that I've, I choose on a daily basis, you can work areas that are larger than a 2x2 two two or a 3x3 section. And you can see the difference that those products make, and, and that's why I choose them uh, for the corrections day in and day out, every day, all year long. You'll notice here that that combination actually finishes down okay on moderate to hard clear coat, but we are going to have to do an extra step. And you saw there are some imperfections that are still there, some of the deeper scratches. And there are actually some scratches and imperfections that we can actually remove during the next step as well. So let me quickly take care of the other side of the trunk here, and then we will move on to the next step. That next step is the dual action polisher that is a 20 one millimeter throw, Max Shine, and attached to it, we have the Eurofiber 5050 pad, and we're gonna jump over and grab the 3D1. Once again, you'll take notice of the large area, uh, the surface area that I'm working, and because of 3D1, I can work an area that large, take my time, and do as many passes as I want to uh, because of the cycle time. No dusting whatsoever, uh, unlike some other products I've tested where uh, maybe a quarter of the way down the panel it would have dried out and dusted already, and there's just that stuff does not um, end up on the shelves in my shop anyways. I don't have time for it. I don't have time for the extra work uh, from these products that dust. This day and age, there's really no excuse for it whatsoever. The polishing and finishing phase here, removing the polisher at correction speed, one inch every second or two, just guiding the polisher. And again, polisher speed between the third and fourth speed setting. And after just a crisscross pattern equal to two passes, you can see the transfer of the red dye, uh, the red pigmented uh, clear coat on the Eurofiber 5050 pad. So I'll wipe off the residue and we'll head over to the other side of the trunk and get that done. 
we're moving along quickly now. But before we do that, we're going to have to clean off the pads. Like I mentioned, best to do it between every pass. pads clean we can repeat the same process on the passenger side of the trunk here and finish up and that will do it is it perfect absolutely not but a huge turnaround we've removed a lot of those imperfections some that couldn't be removed we hit them that you have to be at the perfect angle with the right uh, amount of ambient light to see them and we can move on. We can head around the, uh, the whole car, repeating this process, cut and finish and cut and finish, uh, panel by panel from top to bottom. Or you can go around the car, do the cutting process, and then follow up uh, after that completed with the finishing and polishing process. And this is what you have. All right, so I hope that helps. If you come across moderate or even tinted clear coat, you have a way to tackle it and a combination that works perfectly. Catch you in the next video, guys.